Previously on this channel, we took a look at Jude Bellingham and how his career skyrocketed and his numbers as well. Will his brother Job be any different? Let's find out. Starting out the save in FM23, now Job is younger. He is 16 years of age instead of Jude's 19. Uh, however, he definitely does not have the storied intro to Football Manager that Jude does. Uh, he has no personal biography yet. He is sitting in the Birmingham under 18s right now. Uh, it, but he is rated five and a half to 16 million pounds on 180 per week up through 2024 breakthrough prospect. I'm assuming big things for him. Stats wise though, you can see at absolutely average uh, 11s, 10s, a lot of nines and eights. Um, his mentals are really good for this age and hopefully will only grow. Physicals are okay. Technicals are kind of average. Uh, first touch of 14, though, is pretty fantastic. Passing of 13 is a fantastic start as well. But now, how's it going to be in about 10 years? May 31st, 2033. As you can see, he has definitely picked it up. Uh, his mentals have grown quite amazingly. Physical somewhat. Balance of 16 is the only green. But anticipation, composure, concentration, leadership of 16 is fantastic. Off the ball of 16 is great to see. Uh, he is primarily a midfielder and attacking midfielder, so kind of anti-Judes midfielder and DM role. He did move to Leeds in 2026, uh, is now rated at 22 to 66 million on 70K per week until 2036. So making a much more average career than his brother did. However, still not too bad at all. Now Leeds, as you can see, are in the Skybet Championship. 42 appearances, 11 goals, 3 assists. 707 average rating, FA Cup two appearances, 735, Carabao Cup three appearances, 693, so not the most fantastic, uh, extremely poor. So he wants to leave the club, apparently. Uh, I will take a look for, in the next two years how he does. He has been there for about seven years, 223 appearances, 23 goals. His biography is still not all that filled out. Basically saying he began his career at Leeds United in 26-27, uh, making a total of 223 appearances that we've already seen. Now, did he actually move for, how much money did he move for? He moved for a whopping 1 million pounds. That is it. Uh, but after the first season in 2027-28, he basically was a regular starter. Uh, not too great on the numbers, however, until the 2029-30 season, where he picked it up 6-9-3. This is his first season above seven. Unfortunately, this is the first season that they were relegated. It is sad to see. A lot of seasonal best 11s. You can see relegation for the Premier League. Relegation from English under 21 Premier Division 1 with Leeds United under 21s. Unfortunate. But his history at 27 years of age, not really all that much there. Mainly used as an attacking midfielder in the central position. 41 for club. 13 goals. 4 assists. 709. Uh, midfielder in the central position. 4 for club and 683 no international appearances whatsoever so far that is i mean his numbers are average so i'm not too surprised but it's got to make for one weird dinner table conversation with his family how much are taxes in england he's making 70k per week but after taxes 37 and a half holy hell Jesus, that's a lot of tax taken out. Granted, national health and all that, but still. In 2035, just a couple of years after, he is now rated 40 million to 121 million. Come on, get off the screen. He is getting 230,000 per week. That is one hell of a jump. Uh, and as you can see, he is contracted to Atletico de Madrid. He moved for 40 million in 2033, 2034. 64 appearances, 10 goals, has been doing very well. Uh, still no international caps, however, but how is he playing? 39 in the midfield, eight goals, six assists, 702 average rating. Uh, and if we go back to his profile, we could see 23 plus eight in La Liga, five goals, five assists, 70 average rating. So he is doing very well. Uh, it is great to see that he's finally picking it up with numbers and all that, but maybe a little too late. I would assume, just like I said with Jude, that if he had moved a little earlier from Leeds to somewhere else, he may not have ended up at a club like Madrid, uh, but he might have been able to grow a little bit more and kind of get out of that funk that Leeds United kind of had him in. Still no international caps, unfortunately. If I go to relegation, nope. Bought by Atletico for 40 million, named in Atletico's season best 11. Uh, unfortunately, no caps whatsoever. Career stats. 
you can see definitely roughly a starter, 708, 70. He clearly is still doing very well for himself and having a fantastic career. 230K per week, though. That is one hell of a jump uh, from his 70 before. But overall, you can't be too sad with his career. Definitely at some point in the mid-20s to early 30s, take a look at him if you're that far into your saves. He could be a fantastic addition. I don't know about for, you know, a regular starter on a top club like Man City or Liverpool. I don't know how they're doing in here or Barcelona and Real Madrid, who I'm sure are pretty much at the tops here anyway. However, for a mid-level team, probably a great addition to your squad. If we look at Atletico and how they're doing, they're in fourth right now. So, and you can see he's a starter for this club in fourth place. So, not too bad. I mean, maybe he could be a good starter for some of the higher-end teams. Villarreal, 92 points. Winners of the La Liga. That is something I didn't think I would see. But hey, this game has it all, doesn't it? But overall, Job's career, probably not doing as well as Jude's, however, still doing fairly well all in all. Uh, I would definitely take a look at him at some point. He is going to be cheap as hell, especially at the beginning of the save. Um, so if you've picked it up, and picked up both brothers. Have they been on the same team? That is one I'd love to see. Uh, but let, me, let us know what your thoughts of both of them were. And if they're worth picking up for some of the top end clubs. Um, have they helped you reach the top? I don't know. Has Job ever gotten an international appearance? That is one thing I would love to see. I'm sure if you could pick him up and really get the potential out of him, um, international pieces are going to be flying at him. So, But that is it for me, Safi and FM, Joe Bellingham for the Football Manager blog channel, saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.